Welcome to Funeral Friday and today we will be discussing on the topic of, of the different columbariums in Singapore. More specifically, we are going to talk about the government-owned columbariums in Singapore. So what exactly is a columbarium? A columbarium is a space where there are a lot of niches and niches are spaces where ashes can be placed inside. We are going to explore the government-owned columbariums first. So today we are at Mandai. So now we will take a look at how these niches look like and how much they are priced in uh, the government-owned ones. There's an option of $500 for a single niche and $940 for a family niche. A family niche can place about two to three urns um, containing ashes depending on how big the urns are. So if you want to choose the spaces, you have to pay an additional $250 to the relevant government authorities to choose a space um, of the niche that you want. If you do not choose, you will automatically be uh, allocated a space, the niche, by the government. We actually built this in 1982 and when it was first built, they had only 1,200 niches. But look at the huge number of niches we have right now. There are so many, so many blocks. Yeah. And most of them are kind of filled up and the government is building even more niches right now to meet the needs of this aging population that we are currently facing. In fact, a lot of private um, temples and private churches also have spaces to place, the, um, to place the ashes of your loved ones there as well, but they come at different rates and different packages. Now we are at Chachukang Columbarium, which is also another government-owned columbarium. And you can see in this place, it's pretty serene. Um, there are not a lot of people around, no souls today, but it's right smack in the middle of a cemetery. So for certain people, they might find it a bit inaccessible because there are no uh, public transport here. However, uh, if you drive, then it might be a pretty good place if you like some privacy. 